Hi everyone, Matt from the pre-sales team at Net Support here and today I've got a video for you where we're going to be taking a look at the CPOMS integration in our classroom.cloud product. Now this is a really useful feature because what it does is it allows you to take phrase match data or concerns raised by your students and send them over to the CPOMS platform at the click of a button. So it's going to save your safeguarding team loads of time because they won't have to copy and paste between the two platforms. So in order to use the feature, you first need to switch it on and configure it. And that can be done at one of two levels. So it can be done at an organization level or at a site level. So the one you're going to select is going to depend on your setup. So if you're a single school or you're managing multiple schools and they all feed into the same CPOMS environment, I'd recommend using the uh, organization level settings. However, if you're managing multiple schools and they've each got their own individual CPOMS environment, then you want to set the settings at an individual school level. So if we jump into my school here, click on the settings, integrations, you'll see we've got a CPOMS tile. This is where you enable and configure the feature. So I'm not going to go through the configuration today. We have got a guide here. So if you follow that through, it will take you five minutes to get the configuration all set up and then you'll all be good to go. So once you've done the configuration, when you jump in to your safeguarding section and we'll go into the phrase matches and open up a phrase review window, what you'll see at the top of the window is this send to CPOMS button. So if I wanted to send this data to CPOMS, I simply click on the button. I then need to select the student to tie this data to. So you can see there, that's filtered down to my user Peter story. If I click on OK, I get a little note here saying that this has been posted to CPOMS. And you'll notice that this button has now changed. So instead of saying send to CPOMS, it now says view in CPOMS. And if I click on this, it takes me straight into CPOMS against this particular student. And here is the data that we've sent over from classroom.cloud. Now, this also works for the concerns. So we just clear the filter there, pick one of these. You can see we've got the same button and this works in exactly the same way. So you can send over concern data just as you can send over the phrase data. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.